All right, guys, what's up? This is Rick again, just coming back at you here. We got this uh, Romanian SAR1, and it's going to be the candidate today to get our new A cars that we have set aside. We got our cover and all our parts, and we're ready to rock. So, first order of business, <clears throat> you want to make sure that the weapon is actually safe. So, I'm looking over here, I see that it is on safe. Now, I can do my chamber check. I'm opening it up, I can stick my finger down inside. I can clearly see that this weapon is empty. So, Actually, I don't really need to keep it on safe anymore, so I can go ahead and pull that off. Get my top cover off. By the way, these top covers are kind of flimsy, you know? I mean, they're, these stamp ones, they just aren't very, uh, they're not very stout. Good thing we have the uh, Parabellum Armament version of it, the uh, nice steel stamped uh, top cover here. So anyways, discard that, set it aside. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take the spring assembly out because it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just going to kind of get in my way. And what I'm looking at is I'm going to have to remove this uh, sight leaf here. Now, what we're trying to get going on is that anybody can do this in the field if they have to. So you don't exactly have to have you know a bunch of high speed tools or anything like that. Now, when I'm looking at my uh, rear leaf right here, I realize that I really don't need it anymore after I put my A cars on. You guys, of course, you're definitely free to uh, do whatever you want with yours, but I'm going to take a screwdriver and put it in the center groove here and get it off because me personally, I really don't mind if it gets marred up. And plus it's an AK, and if there's a little bit of a scratch here, what, is that gonna hurt my feelings or something? You know, no big deal. So let's go ahead and get that off. Let me find me a flat bladed screwdriver. <clears throat> oh, by the way, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's just go ahead and be safe about the whole thing. I'm gonna get some uh, safety glasses on here just to make sure I'm above board. All right, moving this out the way. I'm gonna get a little leverage on this thing, so I'm gonna get up above it. And I'm just going to push it down right around here. Now watch yourself. I actually would really like getting on a different angle on this thing, but whatever. Alright, there we go. No big deal. Came right off. <clears throat> Just takes a second. <clears throat> Alright, well, now that that's out of the way, what I'm looking at here is I have to get this actual piece here over this. Oh man, something came off. Where he is? Ha! Ah, here it is, right here. <laughs> My pin. It was sitting over there. Here's the pin. I have to get this pin into this sight block with my actual ACARS rail on top. You see what I'm saying? So it's got to go through something like put it here and put this into place. Now these uh, these springs, they actually can be kind of a pain in the butt to, uh, to, to press down hard enough to get this to go in. So one thing that you can do, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of up to you if you want to do it or not, but um, you can actually take this spring out and if you had the luxury of some way to kind of take the tension off of it, like, uh, you know, I don't know, <laughs> like a vice. You could put it in there and hold it for about 30 seconds and release it. You'll notice it'll still maintain its curvature, but it won't be as stout as it was before. Hence, it'll be easier to put anything in there that we want to put in. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get it in position without doing all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the A-cars and I'm going to push it down really hard right here in the center. And then I'm going to push my pin through there. All right. You can go through whatever side you want to go through. I guess I'll go through this side. Alright, there we go. See, I'm not exactly like the biggest dude in the world, but I was able to do that without even using a vise. So I have my pen in, and I'm thinking, well, what do I need to do next? The next part that I need to do is to actually take this, uh, this set screw that I have in the bag that you can kind of see through the bag there, and I need to put it in place. But I'm sure you guys remember that I was saying, hey, let's go ahead and go ahead and use some Loctite on it. That just makes it better. So 
So I'm going to put it on my Allen key. Try not to lose this thing. Oops, wrong size. Smallest one. Get it on here. Oh, I mean, it fell off. All right, just a dab, man. That's all I need is just a dab of this stuff. Dang, man. Dropped off my Allen key again. That's right. I still got my Loctite on. Putting it into place. Tightening it down. This is actually kind of easy, man. I mean, I mean, golly, anybody, I think anybody could do this, man. It's not a big deal. All right, just give it a little snug turn right there. That's all I need, man. I know this thing is in place and it's, it's not going anywhere. All right, now, as far as the actual rear cover goes, you know, remember how we were talking about how this thing slides around, this rear block? Well, once I secure it all the way down, it's going nowhere. It's going to stay locked tight on the actual weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and take these set screws that are on it. They're kind of, uh, let me just do this so you guys can see. They're just kind of in there. I'm going to take, you know, one of them all the way off. I'm going to do them one at a time. Actually, you know what? I can just kind of, well, I'll go ahead and take them all the way off. What the heck? Got it off here. Put a little bit of, just a dab. A little bit of Loctite there. I'm not going to secure it all the way down. I just want to get it in there. You know what I mean? Okay. I need it to move around still because of whatever the uh, clearance is going to be on this particular AK. Got this other one off here. It's going, it's going, it's going. All right, here we are. No big deal. There you go, just a dab. I'm going to set this aside because I don't really need it anymore. Put it into place. Okay, I'm just, I'm just kind of making them where they're kind of just snug. No big deal. All right, <clears throat> my next move is I'm just going to, there we go, make sure we can see this here. I'm just going to uh, slide the top cover onto my rail. So I'm putting it on here. And of course, I'm going to secure this thing based upon how whatever clearance I need. Well, oh yeah, I almost forgot something. Yeah, yay. A little crowded. Put my spring on. Okay, get this thing locked into place like so. <clears throat> and actually, man, that's looking pretty good right there. Yeah, this thing doesn't really need to be forced a whole lot or anything. It looks like it's uh, locking up tight. Man, I like that. That's really nice. Okay, find my Allen key and everything's looking good. I'm going to lock my screws down. Oh, yeah, that's it. This thing's going to be good. Oh really? Wow. When you when you put this stuff in your hands and you do it yourself, this is my first time ever installing one of these. But anyways, when you when you do this yourself, you just have such an appreciation for it and afterwards you can look at it and say, "Wow, man, I actually did that." <clears throat> All right. And that's that. <clears throat> this rail is on here now. This thing's going nowhere. There's no side to side movement. There's definitely none in the in the front and I can put my optic on it now whatever I want to put on there and it's going to stay tight and whenever I want to get it back off again pop the cover you notice how everything's in place it feels really good really good and I can take this off whenever whenever I want I can take my cover off and I can slide it back on again whenever I want it's going to lock back into place I think I give it a little bit of, give it a little room there and when you put it back on you know it, it actually works better if you just do two thumbs like this I mean it, that's you know probably the best way to put one of these covers back on but um, it, just, it locks up really good. I love it. I'm so glad I have it on this weapon. I can't wait to put an optic on this thing and to go out and zero it and save the world <laughs> or whatever it is you do. That's what you can do too. All right, so that, what did that? That didn't take any time at all. And I was kind of slowing it down, you know, just because I wanted to make sure everybody was hearing what we were doing and seeing what we we're doing. Um, that ain't even going to take you five minutes. And you saw me, right? You know, even with that spring being in the front and they're kind of tight. And I was able, I'm only like a, a buck 69, and I was able to put my weight on top of it, get the rail in place. If I can do it, you can do it. It's a lot of fun. AKs are great. You can do just about anything you want to them. 
Um, I look forward to uh, getting another left-handed charging handle, installing that one for you guys. It is it's so easy. Our parts are just drop-in parts. They go in. I mean, if you take five minutes doing it, then you took too long. You know what I'm saying? But it could take like up to five minutes. So um, anyways, this is Rick signing off. It's been fun. Looking forward to the next time.